Hello, I'm the X Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today I have some Minecraft news to share with you. It's actually quite a bit of Minecraft news, mostly to do with the next major update for Minecraft console, but also a little bit to do with the next DLC pack for Minecraft console, and a tiny bit to do with Minecraft Story Mode. For all platforms, we finally have a release date for the final episode of that, and I'll be sharing all of that stuff and more of you in today's video. So hopefully you do all enjoy the Minecraft news. If you do like it, like the video, let me know because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like seeing these sorts of things. I've said like too many times in the first 25 seconds. Let's get straight into the news already, shall we? So let's start by by talking about, I guess, uh, you know, the fact that we already knew that the next update would be 1.9. That's something they've confirmed before so many different places, and we also already knew that banners were coming at some point in the future. You know, we were confused as to why they weren't in TU31. Then Roger Carpenter came out on a stream and said, yes, banners will be coming at some point. They're in the Java version. They will be coming, the, uh, they will be coming to the console version at some point. However, we never had a link between the next update and banners until just now, because through the sneakiest little thing, uh, basically the, the screenshot that 4J showed recently, it seemed like it was a confirmation of, like, end Islands, if you look in the background there, and maybe something to serve new textures, but it actually looks like there might be something different entirely hinted here. And the reason I say that is because both 4J and Roger Carpenter, people who have very low number of like likes on Twitter, seem to have liked certain things. And I know this is digging into like a really tiny interaction that's just them clicking a heart, but bear in mind, 4J Studios have 25 total likes over their entire history. Some of these are things that are books they've liked. Every now and then, there's a tiny hint of there, and in this particular case, it looks like that because someone responded to this image saying we need banners at 4J Studios, and they liked it again. One of their only 25 likes in the whole like five years they've had a Twitter account that's like five likes a year or something, and they decide to like this one. So it could just be to troll him and be like, haha, let's show him his boss, or it could be like the confirmation that this was actually a hint of banners. Because if you look on the wall, it says nothing to see here. Maybe that's like something of banners. Maybe in the background, what you can actually see is banners. It's just too dark to actually see anything. I can't say for sure, but what I can say is, uh, you know, banners seem like they're quite lightly based on this, but also based on Roger Carpenter. Because again, he, uh, you know, has like a very low number of likes and usually he doesn't like anything to do with the console game except in this case because someone tweeted in response to 4J Studios, not even response to him, uh, it's pretty neat how 4J just hinted at banners coming in the next update and a new skin pack. So yeah, you you combine these two things together and it doesn't take too much of a jump to wake, w work out that, wait a minute, either there were banners confirmed there or, you know, they just luckily guessed there were banners and that's what happened here. So that's a cool little fact you might not have noticed here. Banners confirmed for the next update, uh, definitely, you know, before, again, we knew they were confirmed at some point. Now we know the next update will be at least 1.9 and banners. More stuff will presumably be announced in the future if it's going to be like some 1.10 features thrown in. Uh, we can't say for sure entirely, uh, but over the next few months, we'll get the full scale of this update. Is it just 1.9? Is it more? Is there other stuff? We don't know for sure, but for now, we know it's at least 1.9 and banners, which is exciting to me. So, again, this next update, just in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, uh, it's going to be based on the PC update of 1.9, which is why I'm saying that so much, and it's going to be coming out later on this year, most likely. Again, no confirmed release date yet, but you, you know, but usually they do the two update a year cycle. So unless something goes horribly wrong, we should be expecting the update in November slash December. So yeah, let's move on to the next little thing, which is a confirmation of the next piece of DLC for Minecraft. Because again, in this tweet, he says, uh, it's pretty neat how 4J just hints that banners coming in the next update and a skin pack. And again, one of the very few things I actually got liked. So that makes me assume that the next, uh, you know, thing will be a skin pack. We already had it confirmed that there would be a skin pack slash texture pack slash mashup pack. And I guess it will be a skin pack, which isn't too exciting to me. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is the uh, 1.9 slash new end skin pack we already saw. So, yeah, all of this actually ties in together kind of perfectly because the new skin pack, if you don't know, is the Minecon 2016 skin pack. It will have all of the previous year's Minecon skins, I believe, but it also have uh, four new, uh, you know, the newest cape, which is an Edmund cape, and it has the people with Elytra skins on. So, the fact that they're, you know, they're coming, they're going to be announcing this skin pack pretty soon means that, again, this big 1.9 reveal or something like that will be coming out from 4J at some point in the very near future, which sounds very exciting if you ask me because, again, I feel like 1.9 is one of the coolest updates. It's one of the ones I've been looking forward to the most for a while, and uh, yeah, they're going to be doing, they're, they're releasing the skin pack soon, which means they're announcing it soon, uh, maybe, which uh, sounds pretty cool to me. So yeah, new skin pack, probably going to be releasing in a couple of weeks time, so not like the next week, but like, you know, as in like next Monday through Friday, but probably at some point in like the uh, Monday through Friday after that, because they usually get them out just before Minecon, Minecon is over a weekend, so you get it out on, let's say, the Wednesday of that week, you can expect to have a skin with an Elytra on in like the next couple of weeks, I guess. So yeah, exciting stuff for Minecraft DLC. Uh, other than this, we have one final piece of news, which is to do with Minecraft Story Mode. So, Minecraft Story Mode is one of the most, like, shaky pieces of content I've played. There's, like, some pretty good moments in there. There's also some really low, like, oh, what is even going on here moments? But I am excited to play through this last episode, see where the story has been going, because they kind of cut it off and then 
since it, you know, that it's, it's been really weird the way they've actually decided to run this. But episode eight finally has a release date. It was meant to be coming out in August. That was confirmed a couple of months ago. They had it delayed a couple of weeks, and now it is coming out on September the 13th. So uh, next Tuesday will be when it comes out, which means I will be streaming it if you want to come watch me play it. Uh, just a reminder that, yeah, it gets a little bit shaky in there sometimes, but we'll see if it has, like, a cool final ending or if they're, like, you know, up for something that's just, like, the same thing where they go for a to be continued. But again, it's a final episode of Minecraft Story Mode. We have this image of it where you, you can see, like, oh, look, it, they're, they're playing Spleef or something. And uh, it looks kind of cool in general because, you know, there's deadly tournaments and stuff like that. We'll see exactly how this does end up. But Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8 is coming out. The final episode is coming out next Tuesday. So I'll be playing that on YouTube Live if you want to come watch me play it or something. And if you don't, then uh, wait the next couple of months for an update or wait the next couple of weeks for a skin pack. Anyway, I hope you did all enjoy uh, today's uh, news video. I hope you learned something in that. Well, you, you probably learned something. But I hope, you know, you, you're excited about either 1.9 or banners or the Minecon skin pack or episode 8. Whatever it is, um, I like the if you liked it, share it if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, later on today, I will be streaming either Skygrid or like the Farlands or something from that crazy modded map. So if you want to come watch one of the coolest modded maps ever and like a full survival playthrough, come check out my stream in something like five hours from when this video goes live, four hours. Uh, yeah, there'll be a link somewhere in the description, or you can just follow me on Twitter, which is or like on YouTube, and they're the easiest ways to see them. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.